Welcome to part two of this uh, series where I'm sharing the vignettes of some of the participants from my research, exploring how teachers experience professional learning through personal learning networks. Now let's meet Lou. Lou is a linear linker. Most of her interactions are focused around problem solving and asking and replying to day-to-day -day questions and requests. Most of Lou's needs are met by those who share similar contexts that is, those who are using similar technology or teaching similar curricula. Although Lou has connections to a number of different social software platforms, the majority of her interactions occur through an email listserv. She prefers the linear nature of the email listserv, finding it easier to manage the information and to search through what has been shared. Her interactions beyond her local context are limited to information gathering and she uses blogs and other social software more for their capacity to store information for later access than for their ability to connect with others. Lou has a strong delineation between her personal and professional lives and she doesn't want all of her online interaction to be related to her job. Therefore, she prefers to use platforms within her learning institution because they are accessible during work hours and are approved by her management. Lou's exchanges are linear in that they're usually directed towards sharing or seeking specific advice rather than interacting in complex dialogue with multiple people. She operates her PLN on a mostly technical level as this best meets her needs. Mary Ann is an online extrovert. She engages with connections across different social software platforms according to her needs and the context within which she is learning. She believes that actively creating connections and building relationships leads to more effective learning and rich opportunities for learning, and she uses her extroversion to reach new connections. Mary Ann will go beyond what is published to connect with the creator of that work, to offer feedback or ask questions, and this interaction leads to new learning opportunities and connections. This is why she calls learning through her PLN an extreme form of primary research, because she will often go directly to the original creator of an idea or theory in order to learn more. She actively contributes to her network and also acknowledges when she draws from her network. Mary Ann believes that engaging with a PLN requires a certain cultural knowledge, that there's an etiquette and there's certain social mores that need to be recognised just as in any other country. She says that a successful PLN is a little like a successful cocktail party. You talk a little bit, you eat a little bit, and you network a little bit. In the same way, you share a little bit of content, you consume a little bit of content, and you create connections with others. Her PLN is constantly changing and she moves between public, semi-private, and private spaces depending upon the type of learning that she's participating in. When she interacts with others via private channels, Marianne calls this learning through her personal board. The personal board are individuals that Marianne has a strong reciprocal relationship with, and she connects with these people through private channels to have conversations in the form of coaching and mentoring. Marianne also has a strong understanding of the different types of connections within her network, and she connects in online and offline capacities through formal and informal learning opportunities across a wide range of tools. She displays very high levels of social network literacy. Now let's explore Morgan's story. Morgan is a rural networker who enjoys the flexibility of the PLN and the fact that it enables any time, anywhere learning despite her rural location. She particularly values Twitter because it uses less bandwidth than other social media platforms and she finds that she can use the Twitter app on her phone to gather information and curate resources during long periods spent travelling. She collaborates with others online through discussions and questions the value of a PLN where someone doesn't contribute. She says those who just follow people on social networks and don't contribute are having the same experience as someone reading a book. She'll often interact with others using them as a sounding board to test her perceptions and finds participating in dialogue useful to clarify her thinking and to expose misunderstandings and misconceptions. 
Morgan feels that sharing is inextricably linked with the process of learning through the PLN, and she happily shares her practice and her resources openly. Even though she may not be able to attend professional learning opportunities regularly in person, and has few face-to-face -face colleagues who share have the same expertise and interests, Morgan never feels alone because of her PLN, whom she calls her tribe. Morgan finds her interactions with her PLN to be uplifting and affirming, keeping her up to date with changes and offering inspiration and support. She says that this is important, especially in rural locations, where it's quite easy to feel isolated. Now let's meet Sean. Sean is a genuine influencer. He is highly aware of his role and reputation within his PLN and beyond. He contributes regularly to his PLN with his own content and has invested a lot of time sharing and interacting with others. He became immersed in his PLN as he was looking for virtual colleagues who shared his interests. He's frustrated when teachers limit their learning experiences to their immediate location and says if you can't find any like-minded people to have coffee with, go and have a virtual coffee with someone online. He says it's important to have an active and authentic presence and that people can see that you're there not just to steal ideas, but that you want to share and give back to the network as well. He recognises that the professional advantages that he says are due to his active interaction on his PLN, and he says that he's received job offers, invitations to present at conferences, and opportunities to write for publication as a result of people becoming aware of his expertise through what he has shared. Sean acknowledges that it is possible to spend a great deal of time interacting with the PLN and he has to actively limit himself, reminding himself that he cannot live in the network. Finally, let's meet Stell. Stell is a people person who thinks of his PLN as a story of his development and professional relationships over the past nine years. He sees technology as an enabler rather than a focus. And even though he uses it extensively, blogging, podcasting, sharing photos and videos, he rarely mentions the technology or tools. His PLN visualizations are constructed purely of people's names and he emphasizes the relationships that he has with each of these connections. Even though Stell is not geographically isolated, he says sometimes he feels alone, especially when he's trying to innovate or present different pedagogies. Stell finds that people in his PLN offer him affirmation, critical feedback, and sometimes challenge him in ways that give him confidence and that push him further. Sharing his practice publicly and interacting with those who do the same creates a sense of transparency and authenticity. And he says he has learned a great deal from others when they offer a window into their classroom through what they share online. Stell describes himself as a thinkaholic who uses the connections in his PLN as a vehicle for cons constant change and provocation. He says at any time of the day or night, and even while on holidays, he'll connect with his PLN to see what's out there and what people are talking about. This allows him to feel in touch and up to date. While Stell has many connections based on reciprocity, and he's met many of his connections in person, he also maintains some one-way connections with particular people who he feels share very high learning opportunities. He says the best thing about is the powerful learning coming at you all the time when you have a PLN. For more information on these vignettes, please go to my blog at linkinglearning.com.au where you'll find this information in an infographic I'm going to leave you with this word cloud, which summarises some of the key themes and ideas that came through when I was talking with all of the teachers about learning through their personal learning networks. Maybe one or two might strike a chord with you. Maybe you'll identify with lots of them, or maybe you'll have whole new experiences that you can add. Thank you so much.